Hey everyone, welcome to another video here on White Coats and Corgis. I made a post on my Instagram account today that I wanted to do a deep dive on here on my YouTube channel where I can actually talk a little bit more about my experiences with all the different campuses that you could choose for your undergraduate degree if you are a pre-med student. So this is the Instagram post and I titled it undergraduate institutions with the most pre-meds and I actually got the data that I used in this post from a really cool website called Prospective Doctor. So this is the website, this is kind of what the article looks like and I'm actually going to go through all of the different data that they collected on this topic. Um, before I get into all that, this website is a really useful resource for pre-meds. It has a bunch of free articles, different tools, a secondary essay database, podcasts, like webinars, anything you could possibly want as a pre-med, they have it here. So definitely go check it out, it's perspectivedoctor.com. And what we're going to be looking at today is specifically the article that they wrote about the institutions that have the most pre-meds. Now, I thought this was really, really interesting because I love seeing different college campuses. I just really enjoy when I'm traveling and visiting a new city to go and walk around on the college campuses. I'll usually get something to eat, maybe go to a coffee shop, do a little campus tour and walk around with my dog. And I recently started an entire playlist on my YouTube channel just dedicated to those videos as I started accruing more more of them and people were kind of enjoying seeing the different campuses with me. So this is what that playlist looks like. Um, if you're interested, you can take a look at that. I've done a couple college campuses so far and I have a lot more to post. I just need to finish editing them. So, so there will be more up pretty soon. Okay, so without further ado, let's just dive right into this article showing us the undergraduate institutions with the highest number of pre-med students. All right, so at the very top of the list, we have UCLA ranking number one with 1,298 medical school applicants from that college. And so this is no surprise. I know the pre-med community is really, really strong on this campus. Um, unfortunately, I have not had the chance to visit, but I have heard really good things about it. Um, number two on the list is the University of Texas at Austin. I have actually been to this campus and there will be a campus tour uploaded soon onto my campus tours playlist. It was an amazing campus. I really had fun. My corgi was able to walk around and I have never seen so many students that are so excited to see a dog. She got so many pets, so many compliments, like everybody was coming up to me and asking to see her, asking about her. So an extremely dog friendly campus and from what I have seen of Austin it is a really really dog friendly city and so if that's something that's important to you or you think is going to make your college experience happier I know that I really enjoy that so that is a really big plus to this campus. Um, University of Florida at Gainesville I've also been to this campus as well and there will be an a campus tour upcoming onto that playlist. Um, this is a really, really beautiful campus. The buildings were really, really nice. The architecture, everything was just so beautiful. It also reminds me of one of those very like college towns, you know, like the entire like city that it's in is very college vibes. There's lots of cute little restaurants and things to do in the area. And I thought overall it was really nice. It is a huge campus though. It took us forever to walk around and I like couldn't even walk around the entire campus in the time we were there. So part of the campus tour I actually did driving just because there was so much ground to cover. Um, so it was a really, really interesting campus. Very cool. One of the things that was super interesting not being from Florida is that we actually saw there could be alligators crossing. So there was a sign warning us. Um, that was really cool. Um, I was a little bit worried for my corgi, but luckily we did not see any alligators when we were there. I don't know how common that is, but they did have the sign. So. All right, so next up on the list is University of California, Berkeley. This one's actually kind of interesting because to my knowledge, there isn't a medical school attached to this institution, but I was there actually for a medical conference. And so um, all the students I talked to seem to not have a problem finding clinical experience and shadowing opportunities and things like that, I think because there's a lot of hospital systems in the area. So that was kind of interesting. Um, there are a lot of pre-med groups on this campus that are really 
that are really good for students who are looking to get involved. Um, I noticed there were a lot of on-campus organizations and different ways to kind of build community on this campus, which I thought was really great. Um, of course, the campus was beautiful. Unfortunately, I was there when the weather wasn't so great, so my footage for this campus tour might not be the best, but I still really enjoyed my time getting to walk around and see the different buildings, the architecture, and of course the classic tower. All right, and so back to our list. I actually don't have campus tour footage for the rest of these institutions, but as we can see, University of Michigan, UC San Diego, Texas A&M, and Ohio State University make up the other top institutions with the highest number of pre-meds and the list actually goes on so the next one's on the list we got university of georgia we got university of north carolina johns hopkins uc davis university of wisconsin university of washington and rutgers so out of this list i have actually been to uc davis and did a campus tour there this campus tour is already up on YouTube, so you can head over to my campus tours playlist and check that out if it's a campus that is of interest to you. I really enjoyed my time on this campus. It was so beautiful. They have a lot of really lush vegetation and like beautiful botanical gardens. It's just a really awesome campus to visit. Um, I also loved how they actually have a lot of animals on campus. I'm a huge animal lover, and so they had cows and lots of different cute animals that you could see there. Lots of of dogs out walking around. I actually even saw a couple cats when I was there, lots of squirrels. So very animal friendly, lots of cute friends that you'll make when you're there. But yeah, definitely check out that video if you're curious about UC Davis. So back to our list, we can see it continues. So at this point in the list, we're kind of in the 400s. That is still a pretty significant number of pre-meds applying to medical school out of these universities. We can see that they are from all over the country, right? Wherever you're located, there's definitely going to be a university somewhere close to you that has a really big, really strong pre-med community. And I'll flip over to the next slide. Even more schools right now are in the 300s. Again, so many different universities with really, really strong pre-med groups. On to the next one here, right? We can see even more. And I'll flip to the next one. Right now we're in the 200s, right? Which is still a pretty big and strong pre-med community. Lots of different campuses in this 200 range. And as we can see, right, we get kind of down into the 100s. And then I stopped here at the 150 mark, but the Prospective Doctor article actually keeps going. So if you're curious and you want to find a particular university, definitely go check out that article. I think they go all the way to the top 250. And yeah, I just thought this data was really cool and really interesting to look at. Um, I think it doesn't really matter in terms of choosing an undergraduate institution. I think this is not a big deciding factor if you're in high school trying to decide where to go to college. You know, I think things like tuition and access to extracurricular opportunities, right, the major you want, the stuff you want to study in school, right, how strong their programs are, I think are all more important factors to consider. But I think having a really big, strong pre-med community can be helpful in a lot of ways. Um, oftentimes, these campuses that have a lot of pre-meds really devote a lot of their resources to it. There's probably going to be more student organizations and more opportunities to easily get involved with things like clinical experience and shadowing, research, volunteer opportunities. So it is definitely something to consider. And I thought that it was really cool of Prospective Doctor to gather this data and make it available so that way students who are trying to choose their institution can have this information if it's something that is important to them. All right, and that is the end of the video. So I will go ahead and link the article in the description if you guys want to check it out. And please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. It really helps me out. Thank you guys all so much for watching the videos. Um, I have included two more videos that might be of interest to you. So definitely check these out if you are a pre-med thinking about applying to medical school anytime soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.